Dean, it goes without saying, that was a fantastic result for the New Saints this evening. Yeah, yeah very good. Um, obviously, they started off really well, to be honest. The force like 10 minutes, he just pressed everywhere. And I was thinking, like, this can't be a tough game, to be honest with you. But um, we grew into the game a bit, to be fair. Um, kept the ball in stages. Because we chased around, like, I mean, we would have been tired the whole game. So uh, I thought we'd done well, to be fair, tonight. You were on the bench, so you didn't listen to Scott Rusko's half-time <laughs> team talk. But whatever he said, it certainly did the trick. Yeah, he must have just said the boys keep doing what they're doing, you know what I mean? Um, I thought the shape was very good tonight. Uh, didn't break us down once, just kept him outside, let him cross in. We were just excellent defensively as well tonight. But um, yeah, luckily enough, we came on and got the goal. Not only did you score the goal, but it's your birthday as well today. Yeah, I got a birthday goal today. Um, <laughs> listen, the goal is better than me, birthday, to be honest with you. Uh, we're into the next round, so that's all that matters, really. Now, when we've made substitutions in recent games, Greg Draper seems to start. Then your fellow Irishman, Curtis Byrne, tends to come on. But tonight, there was a change of plan. So how did you feel personally when Scott said, you're on next? Yeah, listen, like last year in Europe, and that played well, so you know that I did well in Europe. So uh, I think he's just that was in the back of his mind a bit, like to get him, get me on a bit. But uh, looking up, came on, scored straight away. Replica, really, to last season when you came on against Gibraltar. We scored that goal, should we say, against Gibraltar. Uh, you did the same today. Fantastic, back to back. European games for you, albeit with 12 months in between. Yeah, yeah I don't know what it is about Europe, but I just love scoring. And um, hopefully, I can just continue for the rest of the rest of the stage, like in Europe. But um, listen, it wasn't just me tonight who scored. I mean, it's uh, it's a team effort, isn't it? All of that's were excellent tonight. Well, you talk about a team effort at the one end. Of course, we scored that vital goal, but at the other, we kept a clean sheet. Paul Harrison, yeah. goalkeeper and captain, fantastic performance yeah, from him. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even need to mention Paul. Like you, you know what you know what you get from him. Uh, like even Welsh Prem, his record, like clean sheets last year, um, captain, um, gets all the boys going for games, and then even the back four tonight, midfield, everyone tonight were excellent. Um, Spence obviously got the assist from me tonight, uh, and he's been he's been only back for like the last few weeks as well, and he's done really well as well. Yeah. Well, you just mentioned Simon Spender because we're doing this interview now in our hotel room and as we came in, Simon Spender said, yeah. Dean, I want you to give me a yeah, shout-out. Yeah, I would have got in trouble if I didn't mention it, to be honest with you, but um, no, nah, it was a good ball to be fair to him. Yeah. And we could see what it meant to the players and the staff at the final whistle. You all gathered together and there was a great sense of elation. Yeah, <laughs> even the subs, like even people who aren't even playing, like we're all a group together, you know what I mean? Um, like there's no one on their own, there's no one like uh, everyone's like room for the team, no matter if you're playing or not. Like it's a team game at the end of the day, you know what I mean? So yeah, it was good tonight. And Dean, on a personal level, you haven't been in the side as much as you would have liked during the course of the last season, but I know you. We get on very well yeah. together. I see you, we spend time together, and you've kept at it, you've never let your head drop, you've kept going, and that in itself is a great message, I suppose, to any footballer in any team that's not quite where they want to be, Keep plugging away because your chance will come. Yeah, definitely. It's like I've, t I've done like for me whole career. To be honest with you, like if you don't play, you just need to keep plugging away. But to be fair, drive drives has been like excellent. Like since he's come straight in like last year, and then um, like there was no reason to drop him or anything like that. So it's not like as if like I haven't been playing well. I think like he's been just doing very very well. Like same course and course came and he done really well as well. And um, yeah, but we're all, it's just competition, isn't it? Like at the end, it's healthy competition. At the end of the day, like no one's like feeling bad for anyone else. Like we're all room for whoever's playing. Like I want them to do well, do you know what I mean? So any footballer wants to play at the highest yeah, level. Exactly. The UEFA Champions League is the top club competition in Europe. We're still in that competition, courtesy of your goal this evening. The games are thick and fast. Next week we host Copenhagen mm -hmm. at Park Hall. That will be a very tough one. Yeah, that's going to be very tough, to be honest with you. Yeah. Listen, we just need to keep plugging away. Back in training, um, probably Friday, I say, and just need to keep walking. Um, you never know, do you? Like, you never know in football what's going to happen, so hopefully we can just put on a good show, to be honest with you. 
Dean, thank you for your time. Massive congratulations on your goal. And we're still in the day, of course. So, happy birthday. Thank you very much, Ref. <laughs>